We're close. I can feel it. The absolute. Its power is strong here. We must press forward. Let's deal with Kethrick, then find Voss in Baldur's Gate. Kalir's clutch held three dozen eggs, more or less. Though I've learned of creches that harbored a hundred. Humanoid. How I despise the term. Githyanki are quite superior to humans. Though it must be said, you are an uncommonly adequate member of your species. Our biology slates state that Githyanki came to lay eggs after we escaped a lithid enslavement and took to the astral plane. It's an asexual process. A favorable change by any estimation. Hideous to imagine a life where I couldn't partake in the pleasures of sex without the looming threat of bearing children. Shukiani. Githyanki chosen by Vlakith herself to bear young. The queen assigns when and where they must lay, and how many eggs they must bear. The Shukiani pass their eggs in the material plane. In the astral, time barely passes. It is a meticulous process, carefully timed so that the eggs hatch at once. Go on, then. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Confirmed. Until then, I remain at the ready. What will Voss have to show for himself when we catch up with him, I wonder? His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We should ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. With pleasure. Lead on.
lot on my mind and, well, in it. Invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Well then, let's not keep her waiting. Praise the Absolute. the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorne? Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies. Isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending. 
and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! <laughs> I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. They are yours. You can release them, kill them, or feed them to each other for all I care. Just deal with them. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! Oh, praise the absolute, and praise her true soul. Zarel won't be pleased about this. She strikes me as the type to enjoy a little bloodshed. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power.
General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself! Pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate. But there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. took pity on one of Shah's sorry little followers. Or was it genuine affection? Let's take a closer look. With the Absolute, your fantasies can become more real than flesh. The pleasures of the mind can surpass those of the body. I have already been blessed to stand in her presence. It was bliss. She gave me everything I wanted. To take without asking, to feel without doubting, and to kill without consequence. In a word, freedom. By serving General Thorn, I have a mission for you. That's it. Play along. The closer you can get to the General, the closer you'll be to the answers you seek. There is a relic that General Thorm requires. He sent his most trusted advisor, Disciple Balthazar, to retrieve it. The relic is beneath the Thorm family mausoleum. That is where you will find Balthazar. But we have lost contact with him. Go there, aid Balthazar if you can, and bring the relic home. Death would not silence Balthazar for long. But dead or alive, he is lost. Whatever has become of him, it is the relic that matters. It is something that General Thorm desires, and that he has ordered us to retrieve. That is all you need to know. The shadows around the mausoleum are deep and hungry. You will need a moon lantern to survive them. Take one from Balthazar's chambers. But don't pry. 
The last person who snooped into his secrets lost their head. I believe he uses it as a chamber pot. Enjoy the view. This feels like it's stretch all the way to the Sea of Swords in a clear day. If this place ever gets it. I mean, any one of them could be elevated to true soul, should they accept the absolute. Ugh. Then I shall have to keep them busy praying for mercy from other gods, won't I? Let me guess. The Absolute is the only way. Don't bother. Why don't you and Zevlor take a long walk off a short cliff? Your conversation has been cut short. These prisoners are for Disciple Balthazar's attention only.
reasoning is hard to argue with. You're free to speak to the prisoners. You want to help? The gnome's couple cells down are up to something, and we're in. I can't read bloody minds! Go on! Before someone sees! You ordered that guard about as if you were the Absolute herself. What do you want with us, exactly? Huh. And why would you be so inclined? think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrin. We've got a plan for us and the Tieflings both, but we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools, that head case of a warden robbed ours, but anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdor, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. The stone. I feel it. Hollow behind the back wall. And beyond. Water. I'd bet my last copper there's a pier nearby. This could be our chance, sir. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Good work. We're gonna wait until it's quiet, and then bust up the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. 
We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. It simply watches you. Have you? Thank Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Good work. We'll grab you, however, are the clincher. What will move?
Did you request this post too? I'm glad I got the warden and not Zarel. Don't get chatty with the prisoners, mind you. The warden won't like that. You remind me a little of the warden. Such gravitas. focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. A spark glows within the heart of the construct. Someone or something watches you from beyond. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Good work. We'll grab the team. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come. We'll move once... The eye focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. As far as you can tell, it is a... Run! Run! Did you request this post too? I'm glad I got the Warden and not Zarel. Don't get chatty with the prisoners, mind you. The Warden won't like that.
Boots have seen everything.
No surrender. Well, well, look what we have here. Stay idle.
Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Good work. We'll grab you, however, are the clincher. We'll move. focuses on you, taking in every detail of your appearance. It simply watches you. Did you request this post too? Don't get chatted.
tactical. I swear, if we get caught now, after making it this far... Not now! This boat is tied up tight! <laughs> Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. Unless you have a better idea. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. Hold there. You can't just land and start unloading strangers. They're procedures, damn it. No one gets in without being tested. Commander Jahira's orders. And they'll have it once we know they're free from infection. Here, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you've said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again.
Roland is here. Of course. Hmm? Oh, I, I don't need anything else. Thanks. Barry. Was there something else? I have plans in Baldur's Gate. The work of many years' labor that will finally bear fruit. You should look for me once we're in the city. The name Wolverine Bongle will be mentioned among many. I've little doubt. That's Iron Hand gnome business. You recall stories of the Iron Hand gnomes, a talented group of inventors who were banished from Baldur's Gate. Do not speak of a story you only know the half of. We are inventors of the highest order, matched, perhaps, but never surpassed by the Gondians at the High House of Wonders. But our forebears were foolish, complicit with Saravok's madness over a century past. And so, we were banished. We still are to this day. The very one. It's the only mistake the Iron Hand Gnomes ever made. And it cost us everything. I have fought tooth and nail to restore our reputation. Particularly against the Gondian detractors who live in glass houses. Our return to Baldur's Gate will usher in a new era for the Iron Hand Gnomes. The realm deserves the benefit of our genius. Appreciate it. Of course Rodan went looking for us. If you see him, send his ass back here and fast. Roland said to sit tight, but what's taking so long? I hope he's all right. What if one of us stays here while the other looks for Roland? No, we're not separating again, not even for Roland. Then we have to do as Roland says and sit tight. Damn it all. You'll come back. To the city. Reinforced I know it. Secured entrance. Here is good. Safe. I agree, sir. This gives us time to regroup. Trolls report more activity among the cultists, Mom. You're here! You're all right! How? We're two tiefling queens, remember? I couldn't leave my favorite bard without her partner in crime. I did have some help from an old friend, though. <laughs> How did you do it? Don't play coy. You could have left us behind, but you didn't. You should have seen him. He was brave, but also terrifying. In a good way. I never thought I'd see... Well, anyone again. Thank you. A thousand times, thank you. One last favor. Take this off my hands. It suits you better. Already crying. 
You're all right. My gods, you're all right. Come here, darling. I was so scared I'd lost you. Me too. But we're here now. Safe. <laughs> Credit where it's due. Bex, this is the one who helped me and the others escape. This isn't the first time you've helped us. Saved our lives, really. Why? You make it sound so easy. But I know the lengths you've gone to on our behalf. We'll never forget it. Never, ever. Here. Take these for the road. It's the least I can do. So, shall we go for a walk? Anywhere, my love. I go where you go. Oh, I thought you had better sense than this. Gods 
damn it all! I can do nothing right! Not a damn thing! I was looking for Cal and Leah. What else? Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. Or not hard enough. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. He sensed that this one was once a fisherman, taught by his father. <gasps> Did you enjoy relaxing here while I battled that wretched darkness? What were you thinking? I'm sorry, we got captured by murderous lunatics! I thought you were dead, you ass! Both of you! We're all safe, Roland. That's what matters. I was just overwhelmed. Doesn't matter. I'm sorry. We should have been here. No, no, it's it's not your fault. I, I shouldn't have shouted. I'm sorry. Thank you for saving me. And the two idiots. Humble too? Imagine that. He has no cause to be humble. He's brought us back together. A task I failed miserably at. You went out of your way to help us. It's only right you get something in return. Here. I hope it helps. What is it, then? Did I not already? How remiss of me. Here. That should cover your services. Appreciate it. 